Hey guys, what's going on today? Bojo here, and we are back with our NHL 15 Be a Pro series following Rick DiPietro and the Calgary Flames. So, it's actually been a little bit of time since our last game with Rick DiPietro. If we go take a quick look at our calendar here, the last game that we did actually play with this team happened to be that 3-2 win versus the Carolina Hurricanes. So, it has been a full... Um, I guess a full two weeks since our last game, and I mean, look at the uh, look at the Flames. They've been winning some games, other than that loss to the Coyotes. They're on a, uh, I guess, well, since then, they're, what, 5-1 five, five their last six games, which is not bad going into this game against the Vancouver Chanooks, which we'll, we will be playing in this game. So, uh, like I said, our last game, we came back in that game against the Carolina Hurricanes. We're down 2-1. to one in the third period and they come back to with, get two goals in the third win the game three to two Rick DiPietro had a solid solid night not nothing too spectacular not like the shutout of the Montreal Canadiens but you know what he had a pretty solid night in net I'm not gonna knock him for that I think he made like a 13 or 11 saves at those things uh, those uh at those Carolina shots but uh Carolina was a team that you know they were they weren't heavy with the cross crease as much as Montreal was but they did take a couple shots here and there. But Calgary's defense did play pretty good. And you know what? I, I mocked Jonas Hiller in the last episode. But, you know, I guess he has been playing better. Calgary's scoring goals. And honestly, this team is playing much, much better. And we can continue here. We got a two-game win streak with Rick DiPietro going into Vancouver. So we'll have to see what Vancouver has for us. So, like you know, guys, as I said in the last uh, episode, I checked the stats before each game as well. And uh, Vancouver, like the Carolina Hurricanes, did have a very high shooting percentage also. So they're a team that's going to be taking a lot of shots on net. Uh, excuse me. Their goals against average was pretty high up too as well. So they could be a team to let up a lot of goals. So if we don't have a good night in net, there's still a chance for us to win the game because their goaltenders are uh, prone to give up a lot of goals it seems. I think, uh, what's his face? I think Miller, well, I just saw Miller. He'll be starting in that. I think Miller and Lack had a, not a good goals against average. I think Miller started every game so far this season. So how many games was it? 21 games so far? Yeah, 21 games. So we're a quarter of the way done this season so far. And yep, Brian Miller, 10-10. and 10. Eddie Lack has only played one game. So 10-10 10 with a 2.63 save percentage, a point nine one five and two shutouts. Save percentage is not bad. Goals against average is not the greatest uh, record. Yeah. 10 and 10, 500. Yeah, he lacks some more starts, man. He's only had one start on the year. I guess Miller has his stretches of when he plays good and when he plays bad. And there's Rick DiPietro, 2-2 two two with a 1.75 goals against average, save percentage of .881 and one shutout. So our fifth game of the year for DiPietro. He has his first chance here to become a above 500 goalie for the first time in 2015. For us, and here we go, the Vancouver Canucks and the Calgary Flames getting it on here in the Rogers Arena. All right, so wrap it around the back here. Cassian out in front. Sedin shot, but an easy glove save there by Di Pietro. I will hold that, and I will get the face off. So it looks like the first line, I think, is the Sedins and Zach Cassian. That's a pretty weird, uh, weird first line they got going here. Uh, yeah, Vancouver's pretty much, they're struggling in their last 10. They're 3-7. They're and seven. So this is not a very, like, uh, hot team right now. It's a team that's kind of struggling to get some wins. So this should be a game where Calgary might be able to get a couple uh, goals in there. All right, so Raymond with a shot blocked away, though, by Miller. Granlund. Marcus Granlund's been heating up as well. I checked his points again. He's he's still getting up points on that first line. Now this kid's this kid's doing a good job. Higgins, oh man, oh big big save there on Benino by Chris Higgins. There's a shot in the slot, but a missed the net. Uh, Benino tries to cross crease again, missed it though. Uh, Spiza taken off the puck though by Hoodler, and the Flames will get it out. Nice and done. All right, so. Vancouver, I don't know. They could be a cross-crease team. I don't know. There were three cross-crease attempts in that last uh, little sequence there. Jared down. Oh, that went off the post. Oh, man. That went off the post and I think went off Granlin and then Miller again. Oh, man. That was almost a good goal there. Oh, Verbata. Yep, just cover the short side on that. All right, Jared down. I'll take it to the boards by Verbata. Bumped by Weidman, and Weidman will take it out. And up to Raymond. And Mason Raymond will get it up to Hoodler. All right. Gary Hoodler sauced over to Sean Monahan. 
Sean Monahan uh, Soster out again over to Hoodler, but he missed him. Spiza takes control of it. Monahan knocks it down for a bit. Back over to Stajan. Stajan over to the corner. Tried to dish it back to the point somewhere, but knocked off by Cassian. And here comes Daniel. Daniel Sedin cuts to the middle. Over to Henrik. Glove save, though, by Di Pietro, and we will hold again. All right, Vancouver. They're a team that's they're a team that likes to take shots below below the face-off circle and below the hash marks. From what I'm seeing so far, a couple elongated passes, and um, they're taking some quick shots on the short side too. So I have to cover short side, but I also want to cover that middle too, because you know they were they were itching out those cross creases a good bit. So we want to see if we can defend that, but making some couple early saves here early. I like to be uh, I like to be active in that, you know. Uh, Edler with a shot block though. Edler again, uh, looking for Brown Lynette, Matthias. Matthias, oh, bouncing puck up in the air. Uh, Brody has handled it. Brody handles it over to Barchi. Gets knocked off the puck, Brody, right there, though, to help him out. Mikhail Backlund, and he will get that out. There's somebody well off sides, though, but they get back on sides. Backlund knocks it off the boards to himself. And back to the slot to Barchisi, over to Brody. Brody walking that around. Slap shot. Ooh, low on Miller. Rebound was right there for us, whoever was near the behind the net. But to no avail. Burroughs over to Matthias. Oh, wow. Double. A <laughs> double give and go right there. But a nice little defensive play by the Flames. Goudreau will dump it in. Uh, Edler takes it to the boards, though, by Backlund. Uh, Backlund bumped off the puck. Goudreau tries to poke check it away from Edler, but he does get it back. Matthias back up to Burroughs. Burroughs kind of walking right in, though. Uh, Arnold and Englund are both working on him. Englund gets it back, gives it up to Bill Arnold. Fourth line of the Flames going to work here now. Arnold over to the corner, back skates, still has it. Up in front to Colburn and deflected off to the corner. Arnold back into the front, uh, Bowley back to the point of Weidman, back to Arnold. Arnold tries for a ripper backhand, but saved by Miller. Arnold in front to Bolig, saved by Miller, and Bolig's second shot goes off to the corner, back to the point again to Giordano, right in front to Arnold, but another shot and a glove saved by Ryan Miller. This fourth line can work. This fourth line knows how to work the puck, that's for damn sure. Arnold, Bolig, and Colburn. There's some big bodies, too. Arnold's not a little uh, shrimpy player. He's got some big, uh, ooh, Johnny Goudreau, again, that slap shot off the foot. You know, that might have, uh, he might go to the locker room now. That's probably what the announcers were talking about. So that kind of sucks. Goudreau may be going for some x rays early on this game. Uh, Waste off win by the Canucks. Stanton take it to the boards. And Corrado, Frankie Corrado. And I'll pass that over to Sedin, over to Daniel. And Daniel taken off the puck, though, by Weidman. Hits it back up to Hoodler, who gets absolutely run over by Ryan Stanton. That's my defensive defenseman. Watch the uh, GM mode. Stanton over to Cassian. Cassian over to Stanton, shot, easy, up, glow, oh, wow. Di Pietro, you need to have that. You let up that rebound like it was nobody's business. Like, I went for the five-hole cover. I guess I didn't have it. Man, Zach Cassian's going to get the rebound goal. Stanton takes the shot on net. We saved it. Oh, wow, what happened there? What happened with the puck? Like, where did it go? I tried to close the five-hole, and then I lost to... Wow, that's we I actually want to go take a look at that. What the hell happened? All right, let's let's take another look at this. All right, Stan takes the shot on net. We're there to make the save. Right in the chest it hits me. And oh wow, how does that puck go out like that? Well, that's kind of unrealistic if you want to if you if you really want to talk about it, that's a really unrealistic way for the puck to bounce out like that. Like look, it's it's caught in between my legs and it just magically pops its way out over to Zach Cassian who then dishes it backhand. Eh, that's where your puck physics EA comes in a little bit questionable there. The puck was clearly behind my legs and then just pops out right out like a goddamn baby. Okay, well, we get boned by some puck physics this time. First time that's happened. David Jones takes a shot on that at the end of the first. And just like that, the dying seconds of the first period, it is a one to nothing lead for the Vancouver Canucks. Off of a weird goal to uh, to be to just to be blamed about. It. it was a weird, weird goal led up here by Rick DiPietro. Look at that. Saves it, closes the five hole. The puck bounces right out. Cassian gets the rebound, and that goes in. So five shots apiece. Calgary's winning time on attack. Uh, Face-offs are 3-2. to two. So we got to play a little bit better here. Get some more shots on Ryan Miller. But that was that's a weird goal. 
That's all I'm going to say. That was a weird goal that went in for the Canucks there. Very, very weird goal. Hopefully we can rebound after that. All right. Mason Raymond switches wings with Hoodler, and Yuri Hoodler will dump it in. Granlin's going to go in chasing after Edler, and dishes back. Hoodler gets it out in front. Shot by Mason Raymond, saved though by Miller, who will dish it right back out over to Henrik S uh, Daniel Sedin. This is Daniel Sedin. Daniel Sedin. Uh, Henrik Sedin. Oh, that might have went off the post. That was pretty far back in my net. Would not be surprised if that went off the post. Uh, Hoodler is holding it a little bit too long. Cam Hughes is chasing them. Granlund. Uh, Granlund takes it to the boards. Back to Hoodler. Shot blocked in front, though, by a defenseman off of Raymond's shot. And Sedin works his way back around the net. Gives it up to Higgins. And Higgins up over to Sedin. Over to Cassian. Cassian met by Giordano. Takes the puck off of him. And Mark Giordano will go into the zone himself. Mark Giordano uh, over to Raymond. Oh, what a play by Mark Giordano. Mark Giordano meets Cassian at center ice, takes the puck off him, goes into the zone himself, keeps it the entire time, feeds Mason Raymond right in front, and a nice little forehand lifter over the top of uh, Ryan Miller's glove. What a shot. He picked the corner on there. Nice shot by Mason Raymond. Nice play by Mark Giordano, him and of itself. He made that play happen. It's a nice shot, too, by Raymond to beat Miller. What a play by Mark Giordano. Well deserving of that assist. Mason Raymond gets the goal, and the Flames tie it up at one. Nicely done. That was a good goal. I didn't think Giordano was going to take it in the all, the all the way. But, I mean, when he saw him going up on center ice after that play on Cassian, oh, wow, there was a cross crease there. I did not even see it. Uh, all right, nice feed up to Monaghan. Monaghan over the blue line, back skating, and taken off by Spiza. Met by Yannick Hansen and takes the puck off him again. Oh, stick with it by Monaghan. Double shot blocked on the second one. David Jones takes the shot. Miller was holding the post, though. Uh, Matthias takes it to the boards. Tanev now has it. Over to Burroughs. Over to Hansen. And the Vancouver Canucks will cross center ice. Cross into the blue line. Uh, Hansen backing up a little bit. And tries for a centering pass. Taken off by stage. No, up to Monaghan. Monaghan dishes it back to David Jones, who will enter the zone. Tries to dish it out. They'll go for a quick line change here. As Hansen will take it around the back of the boards. Passes up to Brad Richardson, up over to Burroughs. Here's Alexander Burroughs, takes a shot on that. Oh, my God, that was a poster. Man, Burroughs going across my body there. Must Alexander Burroughs must play a lot of hut. <laughs> I didn't expect him to take that. I thought he was going to go short side, but, man, he went across my body. He went across his body, too, and shot on the other side. That was a good shot. Went off the post, saved by the post again, though. Door set over to Bay. Bay wraps it around the back. Weidman has it, dishes it out over to Giordano, up over to Arnold, and he will go into the blue line. Dumps around the back of the net, Richardson will take it. And up, a little flimsy play there though, Dorsett still has it. Derek Dorsett passes back to the point to Stanton, and a long aided pass over to Richardson. Richardson taking on the boards though, looking for somebody, Schmied takes it off him, gives it off to Granlin. Right, Marcus Granlund over the line. Uh, Saucer pass over to Raymond. He has it. Uh, Saucer pass up front. Oh, 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 oh. Scrambling puck, but Miller will make the save. No call on goaltender interference. Crazy play there in front of the net. Granlund trying to make something happen. Granlund missed the initial shot. It flipped up in the air, <laughs> and freaking Yuri Hudler tried to bat it at him midair at Ryan Miller, but he stayed, uh, stayed pretty composed there and held it in his five hole. All right, Granlin wins the faceoff. Brody, saucer pass over to Hoodler. Misses it, though. Taken to the boards by Hamhuis. Uh, Hoodler out in front over to Raymond. Tries for a backhand shot again, but Miller is there to make the kind of easy save. Uh, watch for the wraparound. Cassian, that's me. Di Pietro, flick it up. That might be icing. Yeah, it's going to be icing. Had to do it, though. Had to get rid of it. Had to clear the zone. Only one shot on net so far in this period. I guess the one... Shot that I thought hit the post. Definitely didn't hit the post. All right, Raymond, though, gets the face off here. Uh, back to Granlin. Back over to Hoodler. Tries to make a deke. Gets knocked off the puck, though. Corrado over to Higgins. Up to Verbata. Over to Benino. Ten seconds left. Benino, nice four check there. Up. Oh, oh. man. God damn. Fuck. I'm just going to skip that. I know that was a goal. God damn it. I didn't expect Benino to get that puck back after he got a hit. Man, that's two goals there late in the late in the period, both times. 
All right, that'll do it for the second period. Canucks get another late one. Two goals and seven shots. Not good this game. Not good, not good, not good. Two weak goals. Two weak goals. First one was weak. That shouldn't have went in. It should be a tie game, to be honest, but uh, that was a weak goal. Not happy about giving that one up. Not happy about giving that one up at all. All right, third period. Let's see if Calgary can have another comeback here. Cassian over the line. Uh, tries for a five-hole shot, though. Di Pietro makes the save. Uh, yep, Di Pietro had to go out in there and try to get it. Jesus, hey, Christ, boys. Uh, Miller's going to take it, though. Holds it there. Cam Hughes taken to the boards. Taken to the boards again. Sedin gives up to Benino. Over to Cassian. Uh, Di Pietro tried to cut it off Giordano, though. It's right there for it. Dished it out in front. There's a Sedin for a short side shot, though. Wideman to Sedin, though, does make the save. Oh, God, Di Pietro. Why are you flim, like, freaking... <laughs> Acting like a goddamn ballerina out there for a puck that's not even moving. All right, Granlund has it now. Back to the point to Weidman. Weidman takes a shot, though, with a screen. Miller does make the save. I don't know if that hit off somebody. Oh, man, another saucer pass. A little bit too hot for Raymond. Couldn't get a stick on it. Edler now takes it. Edler up to Benino. Here's Benino. Watch the cross crease again. Oh, man, we just got a skate on that one. Managed to just get a skate on that one. Hansen tries for a short side shot. Hansen back to the point to Tanev out in front of Benino. Oh man, another blocker save there by Di Pietro. Just barely gets a barely gets a pad on that. Canucks are the Canucks are changing their ways, man. They're taking short side shots, they're taking far side shots, they're going across their body. They're confusing me out there in this game. Cross creasers as well. All right, Hansen's gonna dump it around the back. That's me. Oh, ooh, questionable call there. Burrows. Oh man, there's another one. Yeah, that probably would have been a goal if. Uh, Number four didn't take that. Good play there, though. Uh, all right, Monahan working it over to David Jones. Out in front again to Matt Stajan, but he misses it. Hansen around the back of the net, up to Burroughs. All right, yeah, we're on a four. We're on a full check anyway. Aggressive. Check Burroughs around the back of the net, though. Missed his man, Schmied. We'll take it. Uh, hits. Hits number 27, but they do get it back, though. David Jones. David Jones working on defenseman. Tries for a five-hole shot. Blocked out by Miller. Stanton misses his man. Englund keeps it in the zone, though. Brody slap shot. Off the man. Oh, man. The rebound was right there. The rebound was there. Linden Bay over to Dorset. Dorset will knock it around the back. Di Pietro's there for it again. Brody will take it, though. Arnold now worked on, though, by two Canucks. Nobody there for some support. Gives it back to Brody, over to Englund, back to Brody, up to Arnold. All right, the fourth line's out. Now we got to get the top line out soon. Back to stage and Oh, there's a penalty on somebody. They're going to get a – they're calling Derek Dorsett for something. doesn't surprise me, but what is the call? And the call is going to be – oh, yeah, you can't do that. You cannot do that as a blatant interference call on Derek Dorsett as the Calgary Flames will go on a power play with 4-12 left in the game. All right, come on, boys. This is your time. Capitalize on that power play. Last time I was in, on in that and they had a power play, one of the nicest power play calls I've ever seen by a computer. Hopefully they can recreate that. Miller's had some uh, good – Miller's been playing good in this, uh, in this game. He's been playing all right. He's been playing solid, only giving up one goal. He's had a solid night in that, that's for damn sure. Di Pietro has been playing all right. Other than those two goals, he's been standing pretty strong here in the third period at the very least. Granlin, Russell takes a shot, though. Uh, taken off by Barcheesi. Back to Russell, takes a shot. Blocked, though, by Miller. Uh, over to Hoodler, back to Granlin, and that'll exit the zone. All right, Brody takes it. Brody over to Barcheesi. Over to Hoodler. Uh, oh, nice deke there by Yuri Hoodler. Yuri Hoodler waiting for some support there. Barchi back to Brody. Uh, that the stray body of Barchi. Uh, all right, Russell was managed to get it. That's good. Oh my God, that's a <laughs> Russell looked like a goddamn FIFA player out there. Oh my God, Barchi, Barchi. Oh man, walked right in. Spiza will dump it around back again. And Brody will take it over to Granlund. Granlin back up to Barchi, another hit in the back. Refer was letting those plays go. Barchi back over to Russell. Russell takes a slap shot on. Oh, they're going to get a goaltender interference call. Yep, 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 yep. Yuri Hudler pushed a little bit too far to the net. The puck went in the net, and they have to call it. They have to call it. 
Yep. Played like that, they have to call it. So Vancouver now is going to go on a penalty uh, power play pretty much for the rest of the game. And I think just because of EA's stupid mechanics, that means yeah, we're pretty much done for this game unless they can score on the 4-on-4 four four right now. Giordano takes a long-gated shot, though. And Miller, oh, man, he almost turned it over with an open net. Almost turned it over with an open net. Benino's got to take it back into the boards. A Weidman back over to Raymond on the penalty kill. They have to do something here. They have to press up. Dorsett with a elongated pass. That should be icing. It is going to be icing. I would love to pull myself if I could. But Calgary will get a 5-on-4 uh, four on, on four offensive zone faceoff with a minute four left on the power play. Schmid takes a shot, though, blocked, though, by Colburn. And they'll get it up to Dorsett. Oh, man, big hit over there in the corner. Giordano takes it up over to Colburn. Colburn, all right. They're working in the zone, so they're doing stuff right that they should be doing. Colburn tried to wrap it around the back, though. Nobody there. Dorsett over to Benino. All right, Benino will go over the blue line. Uh, in front of Sedin, saved by Di Pietro again. A little bit crooked angle, but that's fine. Verbata takes a slap shot, blocked though by Di Pietro. Sedin around the back and play play there. All right, Colburn, you gotta you gotta want it, man. You gotta want it. I'm watching that bench. I have to. I have to watch the bench. Ah, uh, Colburn, I got the puck taken off him though. Here's Sedin. Nice poke checks though by Russell to get the puck back. Uh, he dumps it out. They're probably gonna pull me. Yep. I have to get pulled here. Uh, Benino misses the open net. All right, it's 5-on-5, five five, guys. It's 5-on-5. Five five. Penalty is over. All right, this is it. There's going to be some flair for the dramatics here. All right, Yuri Hudler takes it up the wing, dumps it around the back. Edler takes it, and he gets it over to Ham Hughes, up to Verbata, over to Benino, back to Verbata, over to Sedin, who hits the open net, and the Vancouver Canucks will unfortunately win this game probably by a final score of 3-1. Kind of unfortunate. It really should be a one to one game. It really, really should be a one to one game. Tough loss. Tough, tough loss. Yeah, what are you going to do, though? It's a tough loss. Tough loss we have to take. Whatever, we'll go back to 500. It's not that big of a deal. Daniel Sedin over the blue line. Weidman hits him, though. Hey, gets up to Grandland, and that'll do it for this game. So, unfortunately, the Vancouver Canucks spoil the uh, Calgary Flames' chance. Rick DiPietro's chance to go for three straight wins who will fall to two and three. Did have a pretty good night in that. Two really just weird goals that went in. I mean, the cross crease, I mean, I, I can't, you can't do anything about the cross crease. I mean, we did our best to try to save most of these cross creases, but, you know, just two very weird goals go in this game, and the Vancouver Canucks will win 3-1 to one over the Flames. 17-16 to 16 on the shots. Di Pietro stops, what does he stop, 13-15? Stops 13-15. And let me see away stats. Goaltenders. Yeah, .866 save percentage, 13-15. I mean, that's pretty much what our average is. Goals against average, 2.01 empty net goals, obviously. But, eh, what are you going to do? You gotta do. It's just those that weird that first freaking goal, man. That first goal. I'm just really, I'm really puzzled as, as to how that one like happened. Like it was between my legs, and it magically just popped out out of nowhere, and Cassie and magically got it on his stick. I don't know. The cross crease was also a kind of weird goal too, because Benino got hit, and the puck magically went back to a Canuck, and they gave it back to him, and it was a three-person like three-person passing play, and uh, managed to get it in. So. Whatever, we'll just have to regroup ourselves. Be ready for the next game. No, it's not a deal. Hiller's playing good as it is anyway. Uh, Goudreau, yeah, Johnny Goudreau did get hurt in that game. But he suffered something in his foot injury. Like a foot injury or something along those lines. So, yeah, that's tough though. Alright, so we did a regulation loss against Phoenix. That's, er, not Phoenix, Arizona. So we dropped to 10-11. Alright, come on boys, you gotta regroup now. Got to regroup on the right track, get under the winning ways with Hiller in that. Come on. Uh, ooh, we might actually might have gotten that last game, too. Uh, we do get that win over Dallas, which is good. Our CRC percentage went down a little bit. Yeah, it went down a little bit because I think we played that game. Hold on, let me look at that game against Phoenix, or Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, we lost 3 to nothing, 4 to 3 it was, three, 4 to 3. Maybe we got put in that game. Maybe it was like 3 to nothing in the... Three to nothing or four to nothing, and maybe they decided to put us in that game. I don't know. I don't know how that works sometimes. 
But the Edmonton Oilers, 8-12-2. I could see us going into this game. Usually the icon pops up if we have a start there. But whatever. Tough loss against Vancouver. Tough loss. Don't worry. You got to expect those tough losses, though. It's all right. All right. Yeah, Edmonton's not doing so good. Surprised we didn't get the start there. Maybe Hiller will get the win for that, hopefully. Battle of Alberta. Uh, Lash lost Smeed's out with an injury now. Hmm. Uh, we did get a regulation loss against the Edmonton Oilers, so we're well under 500. Eh, not the greatest there. All right, so the LA Kings, we got a little bit of a break here again. Another nice little elongated break. Uh, okay, so Goudreau's back to the lineup, which is good. Uh, regulation loss against the Kings, too. So two losses in a row now. Not looking so good. Come on, coach. Give me in to a game here. Edmonton, they're under 500. Like to play the Oilers. Nope. Uh, oh, we got a regulation win against Edmonton. Okay, fine. San Jose. Ooh. Oh, okay, Mark Giordano's back to active duty, so I guess he might have been like day-to-day -day or something like that. All right, so the San Jose Sharks. I think once we get around like a 1,000 points, we'll start to upgrade our pro. Uh, Chris Russell's out with an injury now. Uh, we do get that win over the Sharks, and now... All right, I'm fine with the I'm fine with the organization's option to do this. So once again, we are back to 500, 13, 13 and one. And how many games is that? So that's 26, 27 games so far into the season. And we have the good old Buffalo Sabers, the 9, 15 and two Buffalo Sabers coming up for our next game. So I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm just gonna sim to the next game so that way it's easier for me. That way, Buffalo can get like an extra game in there if they didn't have it. Nope, they didn't have one. All right, so that's fine. So our next game is going to be up against the Buffalo Sabers, which is pretty uh, pretty happy about that, to be honest. I'm gonna check my lines out though to see because a lot of injuries have happened. I want to see what the lineup is looking like for this game against Buffalo. So Raymond, Granlund, Hoodler. Yep. Uh, Goudreau, Backlund, and Barchi. All right, so they move back. Oh, Backlund's still in the second line. Stajan, Monahan, and David Jones, and Bolig, Arnold, and Morgan Klimchuk got called back up to the team so Colburn must be out with an injury or something like that so Morgan Klimchuk makes his way back from the minors up to the NHL team again to play the fourth line right wing spot with Arnold and Bolig all right now defense this should be interesting okay that's why Calgary questionable decision there Giordano Wideman Brody Wotherspoon Colburn and England so, with Chris Russell being out and Schmeed being out, that means Joel Colburn is playing defense, top six defense with Derek Englund. And we called up Tyler Wotherspoon, it seems, from our AHL team to play the top four with TJ Brody. So, now this good, kept this kind of solid Calgary Flames defense that I've been liking so much so far for the year. It's kind of a little banged up at the banged up at the moment right now. So Wotherspoon gets his uh, chance to shine here, 22 year old. Maybe he'll get a shot, and uh, hopefully just Giordano and Wyman just have to keep playing the way they're playing, man. To be all honest, they just gotta keep playing the way they are, and uh, hopefully we'll get a good. But things are looking up for us next game, no doubt in my mind. The 9, 15, and 2 Buffalo Sabers. We'll have to see with uh, who that who was possibly on their team because I think they were a pretty bad team last year as well so hopefully and they got some younger players on this team or maybe they have some of the same players who knows but that is next time guys so calgary gets buffalo coming up next and uh, if you enjoyed this episode leave a like leave a comment subscribe as always guys i'll see you next time